Morning guys, hopefully it's not too windy. I am headed in for my appointment to get checked and I'm really hoping for good news today because if it's not good news, I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh my God, you guys, I have an 18. I don't know anything else. I don't know whether or not I have more than one follicle that's ready or not, but I know that I have an 18. The ultrasound tech, I basically was like, hopefully I have one big one today. And so she was like, yeah, it looks like you have an 18. You probably won't need to come back. I'll probably have you trigger tonight based on that. And so now I just have to wait for the call from my nurse, like always. And then she'll tell me exactly how many I have, what size they are. Um, but I know that I have an 18, which means I'm most likely gonna be triggering tonight. So the next clip you guys are probably gonna see is um, me shooting a needle into my stomach. So get ready for that. Guys, oh my God. I, I'm so happy right now. Okay, I just need to get through this next step. It's like, whoo! Who knew that this could all be so complicated? <laughs> When you're monitoring every step, you just really start to realize like how much is involved. It's insane. And don't worry, I have Ryan's contribution bag right here. Okay guys, today is a really exciting day. It's trigger shot day. We finally got the okay. Finally got the okay to trigger. I have um, a, on my left ovary, which is the open side, I have one that's 21.5, I think, which is amazing. And then on my right, which is the closed side, so they're probably not as likely to like, make it. Um, I have an 18.5, and then I think there's like a 15 point something and a 10 point something. So um, we're just really hoping for this left side. And then we do IUI on Wednesday, so let's get going.
being quiet because Chloe is still sleeping. My mom's just about to get here to babysit her. And we are gonna head out because it's Kaiwai day. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm also so nervous. Okay, positive thinking. All I'm doing is having positive thinking. We are on our way um, and we have to like drop off the contribution first <laughs> and then we're gonna go um, probably grab something to eat and then head back for my procedure. So sorry that it's all shaky. I don't have the car mount on this side, so I'm holding it and it's a little shaking all over the place. babysitter for Chloe I'm picking up my dad he's gonna sit in the car with her um, and just hang out in the car so that I can run in because it's just a quick blood test I'm whew. okay fingers crossed please So I just heard that if it is positive, I will be back in on Friday for them to double check my levels. So fingers crossed guys that everything is good, levels are high, and that we will be coming back in on Friday. So Chloe's down for a nap and then I am just like literally anxiously waiting by the phone. Um, I'm like, I'm driving myself so crazy. I just googled like baseline HCG levels um, so when they call and they tell me what my levels are like I'll know because I was 17 or 16 something like that um, with the miscarriage and then I dropped to 10 so um, clearly I just want it to be a lot higher than that so that I can feel a little bit more secure um, and we had no idea how many DPO I was because my cycles were so crazy so we didn't know when I ovulated with that one but now we know for sure that I'm 14 um, because of when I did the IUI. <sighs> I'm just so anxious and I just want them to call me. I want them to call me. I want them to tell me it's positive. I want them to tell me I have like freaking 600 or something so that I can just be like a little bit more at ease um, and then go in on Friday and see it at least double whatever it is today and I'm just so anxious. Fingers crossed you guys. I'm so anxious. Hi, I am doing well Jasmine. How are you? Um yes this is an excellent time to talk. Okay. And I just want to say congratulations. I was like, you are being pregnant, okay? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, the number is 214, so it's a nice job number. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, sure. Sorry, my heart's like racing. <sighs> okay, so, sorry, so you said that my number is 214? Oh my god. That's so good. <laughs> yes, uh, and your P4 looks good too. 
Thank you. Okay, I'm just oh, processing. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm super happy for you. What are you doing? So, just keep your tummy turn, okay? Take the suction, and we don't need to be Friday. Just keep trending this level, okay? Make sure it keeps going up. Okay, okay. So, I'll comment Friday, and we'll check my levels, and I keep using the, um, the progesterone, um, so, uh, suppositories. Yeah, absolutely. Keep on taking it. We'll check Friday. We'll check again on Monday, and then we'll talk about when we'll bring you in for OB ultrasound, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> You're all set, Miss Rachel. I'll give you some time to get, you know, process. Okay, guys. I'm so freaking excited. I'm also still nervous. Today is my last blood test to find out my final HCG levels. So... As long as today they're still going up, we're gonna move on to ultrasounds. Oh my God, you guys, I like still can't even believe that this is my real life. Like I have been trying so hard for so long at this point. I just wasn't sure that we were gonna get pregnant again. Um, and after the miscarriage is just like so unreal. So this is just crazy. Oh my God, I have to stop talking otherwise I'm gonna cry before I go in for my blood test. You guys, I'm so happy. They just called with my numbers and i have had three blood draws my first one was 214 my second one which was less than 48 hours later was 384 so not quite double but still really great and my number today which is 72 hours later was 1297 i am so happy oh my god I'm pregnant and it's real and it's sticking and it's here and I get to see this little baby in two weeks in my first ultrasound. I am so, so happy. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this extremely difficult journey with Ryan and I and I'm just, I'm so, I'm so happy. We just dropped Chloe off at my mom's and we are heading to our first ultrasound. Um, we're going to a different location than we normally do um, because there wasn't gonna be a physician in my office today and they need a physician there for the first ultrasound. Um, like I said, we're still going to the fertility clinic um, for the next couple appointments and then we'll be switching to the regular OB after that. If you're wondering what that box is, that is the cat carrier. We tried to bring my cat to my sister's house in and he broke out of it because it's made of cardboard anyway um <laughs> so um yeah so hopefully they'll let us film in there and we can get some video of the ultrasound <laughs> Ryan and I are having freaking twins. Oh my God. There are two little adorable babies right in here. I am growing four eyeballs. I am growing four hands, four feet, four legs, two noses, two mouths, four ears. We're having twins. This is just crazy. I feel like so many emotions and honestly, yes, this is real life guys. There are toys all over my house and I'm about to have twins, which means I'm about to have a lot more stuff all over my house and a lot less time to take care of it. Um, at least I've got Chloe napping, but I'm so freaking excited. 
I cannot wait to continue this crazy, crazy, crazy freaking journey. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I'm having twins. What? <laughs> Enough of me talking. Enough of me. <laughs> oh, here's some cute, adorable ultrasounds of these little babies. <laughs> We are heading to our graduation from our fertility clinic. So today's the last day that we are gonna have to be going there. Um, we get to have an ultrasound today and then we graduate and they are going to pass all of our information on to um, my OB, at which point I get to start going to see a regular OB again. Um, so that's very exciting and um, I just hope everything goes really well today and that we get some more cute pictures of the little babies and we're just trying to stay in a super positive mood because everyone is quarantined right now <laughs> and it's crazy out here. So um, I, I doubt it's gonna take us long to get to the clinic though because there's not really that much traffic. So let's see how things go. graduated <laughs> the babies are doing really good they're measuring perfectly and we just graduated we just walked out of that building for the very last time ever it's so exciting i mean it's also sad because we love those nurses and everything but bittersweet but we're so 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 happy <laughs> well hello everyone oh i should roll my window up Hopefully that wasn't too noisy for you guys. Um, so I am currently driving to my first OB appointment. So um, as you guys know, I graduated from the uh, fertility center and now I am heading to my regular OB. So I officially um, passed like the period where the fertility center had concerns. And so now I get to go to the OB and have them do my checkups and I will get to ask them all my questions today and hopefully get an ultrasound and a blood test. I wanna get the panorama blood test to make sure that the babies are okay, that they don't have any um, genetic issues or that they, um, you know, I can also find out their genders. So I'm waiting um, till I get there to find out if I can get that today. Unfortunately, Ryan is not allowed to come with me to this appointment um, or any appointments in the near future because of COVID-19 um, and everything that's going on right now. They're trying to minimize exposure. So only patients are allowed in the office. Luckily, Ryan is working from home. So it means that I don't need to try and find someone to take care of Chloe because normally you can bring your kid with you to the appointment, but obviously that's not the case right now. Can't bring your kid, can't bring your partner, nothing. So. Um, I'm hoping that they'll let me film a little bit of the ultrasound. The fertility center had very strict rules on filming the ultrasounds. I'm hoping that they'll let me film some, um, especially since Ryan won't be able to be there. Maybe they would be okay with me filming it. That way at least he gets to take part in it somehow, um, rather than just getting to see the pictures, which like aren't super clear and it's just better to see the video of it, you know? Um, so I'm really hoping that they'll let me do that. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm also going to be asking them a lot of questions like, are they comfortable with a vaginal birth um, with twins? Because that's the route that I want to go if everything is safe for me to do that. Um, I want to just make sure that all the doctors on the team are okay with multiples, that um, 
you know, I'll be getting appointments as frequently as necessary with multiples, things like that, because some doctors don't really take twins as seriously as they should. I've read some things about just making sure you vet the doctors really well. And so I wanna just make sure, because if I don't feel comfortable with my OB with twins, then I definitely will switch. Um, I'm not saying that I won't feel comfortable. I mean, I probably will. They were great with, with Chloe, but I just want to like check all of the boxes, make sure that I'm happy, they're happy, we're all copacetic. So anyway, let's get up going. Let's get to the doctor. Let's hope everything is going good. Hopefully I can maybe hear their heartbeats today. I've been able to see them, but I haven't been able to hear them yet. Um, I want to just make sure that they're growing really well and everything um, cause they're 10 weeks now and just make sure that everything's all good. Okay. Baby A's heartbeat. And this is baby B's heartbeat. They're both really good. Say you found the story. 